गुरु गोविंद सिंह कॉलेज फॉर वेमेन सेक्टर 26 चंडीगढ़ की सोसाइटी राहत की ओर से मैं आप सबका हार्दिक अभिनंदन करती हूँ विशेष रूप से हमारे रिसोर्स पर्सन श्री सी देवीदास जी का आज के इस वेबिनार का विषय है ट्रुथ अबाउट ड्रग्स और ये वेबिनार गुरु गोविंद सिंह कॉलेज फॉर वेमेन फाउंडेशन फॉर ड्रग फ्री वर्ल्ड इंडिया के साथ मिलकर कर रहा है नशे और नाश में बस एक ही मात्रा का अंतर है मुझे वो एडमिट भी करने पड़ रहे हैं नशे और नाश में बस एक ही मात्रा का अंतर है एक ऐसा रोग है जो हमारे समाज को दीमक की तरह खोखला बनाया जा रहा है अक्सर बचपन में लोग मादक पदार्थों की जानकारी के अभाव में या बुरी संगति के कारण इसमें फंस जाते हैं कुछ शौक ऐसे होते हैं जमाने में कुछ शौक ऐसे होते हैं जमाने में जो बहुत जल्द ही शौक में बदल जाते हैं और ये एक ऐसा ही शौक है जो इंसान को गुनागार बना देता है नशा पिलाकर गिराना तो बहुतों को आता है नशा पिलाकर गिराना तो बहुतों को आता है मजा तो तब है जब गिरते को थाम ले सके तो इसी दिशा की ओर हमारा आज का ये प्रयास है तो इस कार्यक्रम को शुरू करने के लिए मैं डॉक्टर प्रभजोत कौर को आमंत्रित करती हूँ कि वे आज के रिसोर्स पर्सन से सबका परिचय कराए और उनका स्वागत करें डॉक्टर प्रभजोत कौर थैंक यू रत्ना वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून टू यू ऑल इट्स एन ऑनर अमंग as mr c devidasan who balances a plethora of roles from being an entrepreneur edupreneur professor to trainer behavioral and leadership coach starting his career with the government of india as a bureaucrat and having a work experience spanning three decades he has been enlightening the young minds and has been directing them towards a brighter path in their lives mr devi dasan is a volunteer with foundation for a drug free world india and has been presenting anti drug seminars independently for over 15 years it is indeed a matter of privilege to hear him today in this webinar on truth about drugs we all are aware of how deep rooted the problem of drug abuse has become today it has seeped deep into the fabric of the society and poses a great a threat of disintegrating the future of the country that is the youth hence it becomes all the more important to address this issue and spread awareness we look forward to a great learning and inspiring session ahead i welcome you sir and uh, thank you uh, dr aradhna for initiating this webinar on the topic of uh, foundation for a drug free world india and once again i welcome you sir and sir is going to enlighten all of us with this issue with this menace what we are facing in our day to day life today uh thank you ma'am uh, prabhjot kaur ma'am and thank you uh, aradhana ma'am uh, for me it's a matter of great pride pleasure privilege and of course honor for me to join uh, this program and to throw some light on the knowledge what i have gathered in the last about 15 odd years after associating with the drug free world india you know uh, i am uh, from this place called calicut you know which incidentally falls on the southern tip of india where our old friend vasco de gama landed you know on a wednesday 12 o'clock 12 noon with four ships and 1600 people and began the journey of colonization of india you know my father um and my parents were not very rich 
you know, after, uh, but they were very rich in actually inculcating the ethics, morals, and value in me. And after studying, uh, after my graduation and a couple of other uh, courses which I've done, uh, you know, I wrote a, an examination and I, and I was posted in um, through the UPSC in Government of India. So I began my journey almost four decades ago uh, in a local train which uh, had to travel for 3,000 kilometers to reach the capital of our great nation called India. So 3,000 kilometers means about uh, three days of traveling those days, you know, coal-powered engines, you know, throwing away all kinds of dirt. And the next day morning, you know, when I reached uh, this place called uh, Vijayawada, uh, you know, uh, I was looking uh, through the window of the train and I saw this Wheeler's Book Depot. You know, British, uh, this is one of the colonial uh, gift. You know, we have got several bookshops. And this Wheeler's Bookshop, one book caught my attention. And it was entitled, I was a drug addict. So I thought since there is a lot of time with me, almost another two more days to go, I thought let me actually purchase that. And I walked out of the train which was stationary for almost 20 odd minutes because it's a junction and I purchased this book. I was a drug addict was written by a young boy of 19 years old uh, by name Ravi. Ravi was born into an aristocratic family. His father, Gyanshan, Brigadier Gyanshan, was a celebrated officer uh, in the Indian Army. Like uh, any father, he also was actually nourishing the dream of, uh, you know, making the boy somebody who is worthy uh, and very successful. So it was very particular for him that he's put in the, the finest of the finest schools. And uh, he put him in one of the finest schools of New Delhi where the boy went for uh, his uh, you know, education. Somehow, you know, born, perhaps born with a golden spoon in his mouth, Ravi had lots of money and parents also was very, very affectionate that way. The boy had access to a lot of money. Somehow, uh, he got into friendship with, uh, you know, friends in the, in the classes and in the school. And they started actually using cigarettes and BDs and slowly as the time went by you know there used to be a joint nearby in their school they slowly graduated into alcohol and the alcohol slowly went on to the next step they started taking drugs and within no time Ravi this small bright boy who could have become something went on to become an addict so he along with his friends uh, jumped over the fence and ran away and Brigadier Gyanshan was shattered what he was thought of his son and what had really happened they started searching for him they could not get him Ravi and his friends ran away to Goa beaches where they started abusing drugs and he says that I started stealing borrowing back borrow and steal and even indulging in brawls and fight fightings and finally, even indulged in one of the participated, you know, he was a co-conspirator in, in a murder because the boy was so desperate to have money for the drugs. Caught by the police, the police came to know that this boy happened to be uh, this, and, and they informed the, uh, the, Mr. Bri the Brigadier in Gyanshan. And uh, Ravi was brought to Delhi where he underwent uh, the rehabilitation process. Once he was fully rehabilitated, Ravi wrote this, wrote this book. It was an autobiography, a moving story of a young boy, you know, totally destroyed by the, uh, you know, this menace called drag. And uh, by the time the train had reached the uh, Faridabad, you know, 24, 36 hours had gone by, Delhi was nearing. So I opened the last chapter. But I found that it was not written by Ravi Singh, it was written by his father, a grieving father, a sh completely shattered father. It was because Ravi found missing one fine day, went on to become a junkie and never came back. And later they come to know that uh, he was killed by the drug. 
So why did Ravi went back? Why did he go back again to the world of drugs? We will come to know about it as we progress this, you know, our talk. You will actually come to know what happens to a drug addict when he is actually, uh, you know, out of drugs and why these things happen. So let us begin our today's session with all your permission. And uh, I'm consciously aware that I'm addressing to a group of uh, young uh, students and enlightened. And let me actually salute them. And uh, we will try to make it as much as possible interactive. Uh, and we will also use uh, the chat boxes so that you can actually throw up uh, if you have got any query. So I try to finish it by one hour and 10 minutes or so. So let's begin. Let me set the slide. So this is Sir, mic is off. Mic is off. Your mic is off. Is it now clear? You are able to hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. So before um, we start, let me actually give you some idea about what we are actually doing in the drug free world India. And you will run through these slides as far as. Uh, we will run through these slides as fast as possible. I hope I am loud and clear. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, actually, Drug Free India is a non-profit public uh, benefit organization, and it has one uh, aim, and that the aim is eradication of drug abuse through awareness creation and education. So that's what we do. Uh, in fact, Drug Free World India is an offshoot of what is called Narcanon, which is the biggest rehabilitation of drugs abuse in the world. But this Drug Free World India actually focuses on creating awareness and providing education. We are the largest non-government anti-drug education in the world. We are present in almost 164 countries in the world, which form something like 84 percentage of the world, uh, you know, of countries. Now, what are the activities which we are into? We, uh, as a part of uh, awareness creation, we distribute anti-drug educational books around the world. When we say around the world in 164 countries, and it is powered and powered only through the, uh, the volunteers. And also, as the time goes by, we develop new educational material to adapt the changing requirements. You know, the nature of drug uh, is also changing. So we need to actually update because this is one of the most important thing. Uh, and these booklets are freely available. We can send it across to your college also. And then these are some of the photographs 
this is london olympics that you can see a sea of uh, uh, volunteers wearing the blue uh, bunny and t-shirts the next one is rio olympics again huge number of volunteers and this has been going uh, since 1966 uh, and this is you so your voice is not clear are you able to hear me now ma'am am i audible yes sir yes sir okay uh, this is a euro cup football 200 2016 championship you can see the yes, volunteer, volunteers i would request the participants to mute their uh, mics so that there is no disturbance and uh, this is with the colombian military uh, you know in colombia they face a lot of problems uh, with the drug menace unlike india even though in india also it is there there it is even more violent so drug free world actually work in close collaboration with the colombian military and this is one of the photographs this is in the czech republic we undertook uh, a biking expedition over there to create awareness these were old days and uh, this is the volunteer uh, t-shirts which they use in czech republic and um, the schools in south africa we are very strong in south africa you can see the children over the the streets of delhi in delhi there of uh, uh, volunteers uh, and it's not only in delhi but across india in almost all the places right from jammu kashmir to kanyakumari we have this is a screenshot of the booklet distribution that's happening in the streets of delhi and this is a nasdaq you can see uh, you know people standing uh, this is uh, dominican uh, republic which is uh, a group of islands in the caribbean and this is one of the senior uh, bureaucrats in dominican republic so giving a presentation and it's not only the normal people but you know the people like brad pitt uh, and you name them several of them are a part of volunteer ring for drug free world india this is italy you know the place where there is so much of focus on uh, football and i need not have to tell you the names they are all there so this is the and in japan this is an awareness creation dial you can see the a girl in t-shirt in germany this has been taken from uh, one of the programs you know awareness creation drive then in taiwan you can see young contingent of children you know giving uh, away the booklets etc then we have uh, mass outreach around the world wherever big uh, uh, you know the cities like new york and all huge neon boardings and it keeps going on and on creating awareness and uh, you know uh, one of the thing which we do is we have a 13 booklets on commonly used drugs this is something we have been distributing millions of the copies have already been uh, distributed this is free of cost we can actually send it across to you in case if you want we can actually distribute it starting from marijuana to synthetic drugs to alcohol alcohol ecstasy cocaine we will touch upon this subject as we go on lsd one of the most virulent and powerful drugs which has actually affected you know the, the boy who wrote i was a drug addict we will talk about it and then we also have award winning commentaries of real survivors of addiction and these are actually available on our web portal and the people who actually share their experiences and how they have come across these are the tools which are available and then there is a huge multimedia tools you know collection which is available and there is an online training program as well so when we talk about online resource center there is a learning platform as you can see on the screen you can click it and you can get into it there are videos there is powerpoint presentations and they are interactive learning etc then there are uh, you know cds books
this you can see is the foundation for drug india world india uh, volunteers which we have taken it from um, in, in delhi you can see the south of drug free world india a very vibrant team uh, of uh, volunteers who do selfless work and uh, talking of awards and recognition there are several of them i have not listed them uh, over here but then uh, you know from the schools across india colleges umpteen number of colleges universities government agencies police narcotic control bureau we work in close coordination in several psus i personally have delivered this lecture across several um, you know uh, psus like steel authority of india uh, delivered in front of the bureaucracy of the government of india uh, etc and then civil bodies corporate entities uh, and foreign missions you can see some of the photographs over here uh, so now the question is why are we here today anybody want to answer this through chat hello are you able to hear me yes sir you are able yes, to hear sir. okay yes, sir. Okay. Why are we here today? The primary aim is to give you right information. Why right information? It is because there is something called a drug culture, which is actually, you know, conquering the world across. Uh, you know, right from uh, USA, it all started in 1960s. The information which are given to the youth, especially today. are not right information they are actually creating a kind of uh, authenticity kind of uh, you know glorification to the drugs which are actually uh, being abused today so therefore uh, we do not want to give you fake information the only idea is i am actually not going to tell you or any volunteer of uh, drug free world india is not going to tell you do not take drugs or this is bad or this is right we want to give you right information so that you can take responsibility of your life not fake information now i want you to uh, know this person called l ron hubbard dear friends dear students l ron hubbard uh, was an american philanthropist a thinker you know an ex army general he who worked in the army american army and in 1956 he wrote a book called dianetics you know dianetics is the study of mind what exactly is a mind you know how does it originate you know how it is different from brain where is it located in our body so this book a, a research book went on to become a best seller and uh, i also uh, want you to know this person called william benitas william benitas was a prisoner who was undergoing a prison sentence of 18 long years in arizona state prison in, uh, in the united states of america william benitas uh, was a young bright boy when he was young he was very intelligent but somehow he had taken a, a shot of drug and ever since got addicted to to it he was trying his level best to kick that uh, habit off but somehow he could not but because he was very intelligent uh, and smart he got into american navy and he went on to become a senior person but somehow because of his drug habits he was kicked out of navy out in the open william benitas did not have any money to buy drugs so he was involved in a murder and he was caught by uh, the american police and he was put inside the jail one day in the prison 
sentence when he was undergoing prison sentence in the jail he happened to read one of the books written by this person called L. Ron Hubbard called Fundamentals of Thought you know uh, in Fundamentals uh, uh, of Thought so in which there was a particular line that caught his attention it said you know for any pro person to solve his problem all what is needed is to uh, build his ability and William Benitas had the problem of drugs so he wrote to L. Ron Hubbard can you help me L. Ron Hubbard when he was doing research on the mind he had found that human beings despite the fact that they are they can achieve greater things in life always face barriers and one of the barrier was drugs so L. Ron Hubbard wrote to William Benitas by telling that yes I can actually help you and William Benitas came and the first drug rehabilitation program which I was telling you took off from a prison cell in early 1960s and William Benitas further went on to become the director of uh, Narconon which actually deals with uh, uh, the drug uh, rehabilitation and all but that was the seed that happened to uh, you know get into the place for actually drug free world uh, coming into uh, the foray so uh, this is the story of William Benitas and this is how drug free world has actually begun even though Narconon the rehabilitation uh, you know program is totally different now what is a drug can anybody tell me what is a drug on the chat box can anybody tell me what is a drug on the chat box i cannot see anybody writing on the chat box where is the chat box okay let me tell you okay this is the chat okay are you able to hear me can you actually uh, give me an answer as to what is a drug okay medicine substance which has psychological effect a new drug aimed at sufferers from parkinson disease this is what nikita writes okay nikita uh, if you actually check the meaning um, look for a drug what is drug in dictionary you will find that drug all drugs are toxin now what is a toxin toxin all toxin means poison so in other words drug means poison body considered is anything other than food water and uh, uh, you know air as toxin so drug happens to be uh, the toxin and poison and even after taking how can one get a high let us explore more now what are the three things that is required for sustaining life anybody on the chat what are the three things that sustains life there are three things such as air as i was telling you water and food you know these three things are actually required for sustaining our life now what happens sometimes these things can get polluted water can become poisonous if some chemical gets into it food if it goes stale it can get poisonous so now what happens if we take a stale food by mistake anybody what happens if we take uh, a stale food by mistake food poisoning yes listen breathe you are right food poisoning happens but let's say uh, you along with your parents or friends went to a restaurant and you had a ball there you know you enjoyed the food the restaurant was very famous for a non veg and you had uh, lots and lots of chicken tikka in the restaurant but what had happened is that some portion of the chicken tikka had gone bad it was previous days 
and the restaurant owner put that also thinking that it can also be told or in other words it had become stale or in other word it can become poison so when the body you know when poison enters what happens who cleans the poison in our body who cleans the poison in our body it is liver definitely uh, silla mary you are right it is actually the liver now what happened happened uh, to jason preet is that she did not fall sick despite the fact that the food she had taken had gone stale and it had become a poison because the moment the, the uh, bad piece of tikka entered in the stomach the body sent out a signal by telling that here is something which is not considered to be food and poison therefore has entered and immediately liver produced what is called enzymes and broken those chicken tikka into small small pieces so that it couldn't affect uh, jasan preet kaur and she remained healthy now you must be wondering what is the relationship between a stale food and drugs is there a relationship definitely there is a, a relationship now what happens is that you know when a person takes drugs immediately the liver begins to start functioning it start cleaning so uh, a good normal liver actually looks like something like this you know as beautiful as the cheek of of, of a young beautiful girl the moment what happens when a person regularly takes drugs let us say first uh, dose of alcohol was taken or first uh, shot of drug was taken immediately the liver got into action and it cleaned so the person who was taking the angle he was taking alcohol felt that you know ek pack se kya hoga you know ek aur le lete the second pack went inside immediately the liver started cleaning then followed by third pack fourth pack you know there are people who takes continuously alcohol and bechara liver you know is forced to overwork continuously and get damaged and the person dies this is how a person you know liver collapse ho jata hai for normal once in a while you know you you took a, a stale food it is okay but what happens is that when somebody takes regularly liver bite jata hai this is how it happens now you may have heard nasha chad gaya it's an expression what is a high he is high on cocaine kya hai high koi bata sakta hai mujhe anybody on the chat drug users feel a rush of energy after taking drugs jaise daru pee liya the person who takes the shot of a pug or two he feels a rush of energy and that rush of energy is called high when aapko nasha chad gaya you start feeling so much energy you think that you can take a jump from a cliff of a mountain and can fly but you have to understand that uh, the high varies from person to person kyunki for some if there are five people somebody takes one shot of alcohol one shot of any other drugs it affects people differently so now nasha means drugs cannot give high it happens when body burns precious vitamins minerals etc which we it gets through the food we take so liver ko kaam karne ke liye energy chahiye for cleaning the poison which has entered through uh, taking alcohol etc and it has to burn the mineral proteins etc to create energy so it is body's reaction to drugs and drug cannot give high you have to actually understand it is poison it might not kill you immediately but it is slowly killing you drugs cannot give high it happens when body burns the precious minerals etc which is meant for actually uh, you know building body so it is bodies the feeling of high varies as i was telling you now what is an addiction 
आपने सुना होगा लोग कहते हुए ये आदि हो, हो रखा है दारू का या फिर ड्रग्स का वॉट इज एन एडिक्शन हाउ विल यू एक्चुअली एक्सप्लेन वॉट इज एन एडिक्शन एनी बडी यू नो एडिक्शन हैपन वेन वन कंटिन्यूज टू क्रे फॉर ड्रग्स क्या होता है कि वेन ए पर्सन स्टार्ट टेकिंग ड्रग्स और अल्कोहल ई विल स्टार्ट डेवलपिंग एन लाइकिंग स्टेज ऐसा आएगा यू विल थिंक दैट लुक आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू टेक अल्कोहल दारू नहीं पीऊंगा बट लेकिन उसको वो कंट्रोल नहीं कर पा रहे हैं उस पोजिशन में वो आदमी आदि हो चुका है एडिक्शन है and unable to resist it ja kar le lega so this is addiction now there is something called physical addiction what is physical addiction there are different types of addiction let me tell you physical addiction kya hota hai physical addiction you know hamara body ko uh, inside our body there are it's made out of different types of chemicals and what are these chemicals salt sodium calcium etc we say takes from food water etc and when these chemicals are balanced in uniformity then we feel what is called well being isko kehta hai ki natural chemical composition jab chemical composition in the body is actually uh, proper then we feel very good look at the girl look at the wide eyes she is wide eye open and look at the boy he is very very happy but drugs kya kehta hai is natural chemical composition ko wo change kar dete hain it alters the chemical composition aur fir apna ek chemical composition wo paida karte hain drug alter its and replaces the altered chemical composition in place of natural composition to so, jab bhi hamara body ke andar chemical composition mein fark aa jata hai मान लीजिए यू वेन फॉर अ रनिंग ऑफ टेन थाउजेंड मीटर्स कुछ समय के बाद आपको पानी चाहिए बॉडी पानी पानी मांगता है एंड वॉट इज पानी एस टू ओ सो इट इज वॉटर दो सिमिलरली वेन ए केमिकल कॉम्बोसिशन ड्रग ने जो पैदा कर रखा है आल्टर्ड केमिकल कॉम्बोसिशन के अंदर जब डिफरेंस आ जाता है बॉडी बिगिन टू आस्क फॉर दैट ड्रग क्योंकि बॉडी को पता नहीं है मेरा नेचुरल केमिकल कॉम्पोजिशन बदल चुका है द माइंड एंड द बॉडी ऑफ दैट पर्सन सी एंड ही बिगिन्स टू टेक मोर एंड मोर ड्रग्स टू मेंटेन अल्टर्ड कॉम्पोजिशन सो देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड नेचुरल केमिकल कॉम्पोजिशन एंड अल्टर्ड केमिकल कॉम्पोजिशन नो जब एक आदमी या फिर एक गर्ल और बॉय आई एम ऑलवेज सींग ही ही बिकॉज दैट इज हाउ इट इज एक्चुअली एक्सप्लेन बट ही मीन्स शी एज वेल when the body asks for these drugs if it is not given kya hota hai the person start experiencing muscular and stomach cramps vomiting shivering these sign vanishes if the person takes drugs isko kehta hai physical addiction physical addiction mein jab shivering hota hai because body mangta hai drugs ko agar wo drug liya hai so it becomes normal so you have to actually understand it is because of the natural chemical composition has been altered by drugs now there is something called mental addiction mental addiction kya hai mamita writes drug addiction is a disease that affects person's brain and behavior and leads to an inability to control so obviously body could not control Uh, and that is the reason it was asking for more drugs so drugs they jaise de diya body appears to be in control isi ke alawa there is something called mental addiction this is more dangerous <coughs> mental addiction kya hai if a person is constantly thinking of drugs it shows he is mentally addicted kai sare professors doctors artists even when they are drawing they are thinking okay sham ko ja ke i will have a you know that is what is called mental addiction and how does men you know uh, there are three things that makes a person think of drugs normally kya hota hai friends i remember after my graduation 
my friends invited me i was very young and somebody said dr devi why don't you actually take this maine pucha kya hai isko ganja bolta hai aap agar kha loge to kitna acha lagega so he was my friend so friends normally you know when a friends a uh, friend is doing something we also have an inclination lal kapda pehan liya to you also want to have you know bell bottom pehan liya early 70s those were uh, the fashion during my times so we also had that feeling of kahme bhi chahiye papa ye so similarly i took fortunately that was the first and last time i have taken it gave me some kind of a bad vibration you know because i stood really well in the class i was given a cycle as a gift and i was riding back to the home after taking this ganja and i was thinking why should i go home let me dry uh, lie down on the floor kal udka chalenge and i was not knowing so one reason is friends second is reality aap kisi se bhi poocho everybody thinks that look it can affect anybody not me but the fact of the matter is that the the drugs like lsd you take only one and that is the end of it they are very powerful you get the reality is that you get addicted and the third one is that people take drugs because of lifestyle dad ke paas paisa hai you know you are hanging around you are going for a party so naturally this leads to taking drugs so there is something called mental addiction getting over addiction kya hota hai ki when a person has to get both physical and mental addiction to come out of the drug addiction completely kyunki it may take only a few second for a person to slip back this is what had happened to ravi jiska bare mein main keh raha tha he was treated you know physical addiction but his mental addiction was too strong aapne dekha hoga kai sare log hai you know for the entire month they do not actually take any alcohol lekin 30 tarikh ko agar aap puche ki papa aaye nahi hai bhai to bolenge papa aaj party karke aayenge so some people actually take alcohol or drugs you know uh, at the month then jab salary aa gaye ek bar maza karke aa gaya and they look forward by thinking yaar aaj 25 tarikh ko ho gaya 5 tarikh 5 din jo hai na it is not going forward so this is called mental addiction and rehab centers normally fail because mental addiction is often left untreated please remember this whoever is there you know i can see there are 101 people on, on, on the on the platform many a time only drug addiction is treated for physical addiction people do not know you know it may be a son it may be a sister it may be a brother it can be a dad you know you think that the person is rehabilitated he is not so there is something called mental addiction if you do not actually know now drugs kis kis tarike se hamare ko affect karta hai let me actually tell you drug affects our central nervous system jaise aapko dikhai de raha hai yahan pe central nervous system hamara brain ke wahi se shuru ho ke niche tak chala jata hai actually central nervous system ya fir cns it runs all over the brain from brain all over the body they coordinate and integrate our body movements normally kya hota hai ki agar ek aadmi ya fir aurat nashe mein nahi hai to if he wants to jump he can jump the body knows how to jump teen pad ki baat aapne dekha hoga body insaan sochte hai ki mujhe control karna chahiye lekin pair is taraf jata hai you know half is taraf chala jata hai it is because body begins to start losing his coordination you know drugs kill complete functioning of cns jaise jaise aap daru piyenge ya fir cocaine ho ya heroin heroin ho hashish ho you take any drugs it begins to start killing your central nervous system in three different ways what are these three different ways फर्स्ट इज कॉल स्टिमुलेशन पहले पेज ले लिया आपको लग गया कि भाई आप बहुत शेयर बन गया दिस इज द रीजन मेनी अ टाइम यू विल सी दट पड़ोस का अंकल जी जो है ना नॉर्मली इज ए वेरी वेरी पीस लविंग एनिमल तो ऑल ऑफ अ सडन यू कैन हियर पड़ोस से शाम को यू नो एंटी इज बींग बीटना 
क्योंकि अंकल जी ने पहली ड्रग इन पैक पिया वो शेर बन गए स्टार्टेड हीटिंग वाइन पुअर वुमेन तो द फर्स्ट पैक गो टू इट विल गिव यू स्टिमुलेशन जैसे आप आगे बढ़ाएंगे आपका हा, हाथ पैर इधर उधर जाना शुरू करेंगे एंड इफ यू स्टिल टेक यू नो यू फॉल डाउन इसलिए आपको कई बार आपने देखा होगा व्हेन यू गो टू द कॉलेज और व्हेन यू गो आउट यू विल फाइंड मेनी पीपल लेबरर्स एंड पीपल हु फॉलन डाउन एस इफ दे आर डेड इट इज बिकॉज दे आर सी एन एस इज टोटली शट डाउन एनी क्वेश्चन यू हैव यू कैन कीप आस्किंग मी ऑन चैट now there is something called body's resistance its unpredictability and uh, overdose mamta choudhury ma'am has written addiction leads to depression also and depression is not something you just feel in your mind it is something you can feel in your body too which means mental and physical harm yes mamta you are actually very very right actually uh you know uh, i would actually request uh, you know aradhana ma'am uh, to let me know once the program is over she can write a mail we will send you these booklets in which we have actually listed down different different um, you know uh, drugs kis tarike se you know some of them makes you more violent you know there are something called party drugs party drugs kya karta hai You go for a rave party 31st December में पूरा रात मैंने यार डांस कर लिया वो पिल मैंने लिया था ना यू नो एक्चुअली वॉट हैपन इज दैट बॉडी हैज अ मैकेनिज्म पार्टी ड्रग्स ड्रग्स लाइक मियाओ मियाओ इट इज कॉल्ड मियाओ यू नो वॉन्ट्स यू टेक इट एक्चुअली डिसकनेक्ट द ब्रेन एंड यूर हार्ट यू आर डांसिंग एंड डांसिंग एंड डांसिंग बट यूर ब्रेन डज नॉट नो your body is heating up you think that you have got so much power so party drugs does that and many a time we have seen people dancing throughout you know all of a sudden falling down and dying so they affect the mind in a different manner there are 13 types of drugs you will get the information as to how it affects your mind body and soul so there is something called now body's resistance what is body's resistance you know जो आदमी लेटर से द पर्सन वॉन्ट टू टेक अल्कोहल यू टेक दिस इज द मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज ड्रग इन द वर्ल्ड अल्कोहल जो है कि पहली बार दो पग ले लिया यू नो ई फेल्ट दैट इज ड्रंक अगले दिन पे पी करना शुरू कर दिया बट यू विल हैव टू एक्चुअली इंक्रीज द क्वान्टिटी क्योंकि बॉडी ने रेसिस्टेंस पैदा किया है बिकॉज इट इज नॉट फूड तो टू गेट द सेम अमाउंट ऑफ you know uh, the the intoxication the person has to continuously enhance isliye sabse zyada jo hai ki darubaz log hai they take sometimes seven packs eight packs nine packs 12 packs and still they stand it is because the body has developed the resistance and all the time it is impacting your inner organs and there is something called unpredictability body kab isko marte hain you do not know you know when the Uh, in a university election uh, university examination uh, results were declared there was a small news item in the in the times of india newspaper there were four boys they took father's car and went for the party and they had party enjoyed and came back nothing happened while the three people the boys were perfectly all right the fourth one a young budding engineer was not waking up his mother was feeling quite you know she was thinking concerned kya ho gaya das baj gaya bachcha utha nahi hai kal you know daru pe ke aaya hai it is all right but what had happened is the drug had you know the alcohol had struck and the boy never wake up woke up so there is something called unpredictability chahe it is heroin chahe lsd आप ये बोलेंगे मैंने इतना ही लिया भाई बट हाउ इट इफेक्ट डिफरेंट पीपल इज समथिंग विच वी डू नॉट नो इट कैन एंड दिस इज वॉट इज कॉल्ड ओवर डोज बॉडी नॉर्मली रिकवर कर जाता है जिस दिन आपका बॉडी के अंदर ताकत नहीं था दैट डे यू एक्चुअली डाय एंड देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड बायोकेमिकल पर्सनैलिटी 
एनीबडी नोस व्हाट इज बायोकेमिकल पर्सनालिटी क्या होता है कि यू नो व्हेन अ पर्सन कंटीन्यूअसली स्टार्ट टेकिंग ड्रग्स और अल्कोहल कौन सा टाइप अल्कोहल या फिर कौन सा टाइप ड्रग्स आप ले रहा है एंड एवरी केमिकल अफेक्ट द बॉडी सेपरेटली फॉर एग्जांपल द पीपल हु टेक्स एलएसडी एज दिस यू नो मैनरिज्म you know it is it is the chemical induced but kai bar kya hota hai ki when person is rehabilitated by the grace of god and through the people in the hospital even after he's totally rehabilitated the person continue to behave as if he has taken drug and that is called <coughs> biochemical personality ye kahi saalon tak raha jata hai aap puchhenge sharat tune kya daru pira kya हमने सुना है कि तूने छोड़ दिया तो आज सही भी है शरत ने दारू छोड़ा है परंतु क्या है कि बायो इज केमिकल बायो इज लाइफ एंड केमिकल इज चेंजिंग यू नो लाइफ चेंजिंग केमिकल है एंड वॉट एवर दट पर्टिकुलर केमिकल वॉज देर इन दी ड्रग इट इज इम्पैक्टेड सो यस यस बोलोगे तो हम डिप्रेशन में चले जाएंगे क्या करे आप क्या करे बताइए मैं सुन रहा हूं बताइए मैम आप कहना क्या चाह रहे हैं चैट चैट के ऊपर भी आप लिख सकता है अब मैं दिस इज द लास्ट सेगमेंट यू नो वी विल कम आउट ऑफ दिस ऑल्सो आई वांट टू एक्चुअली मेक यू क्लियर व्हाट आर दी यू नो द ट्रूथ अबाउट ड्रग्स ये लेक्चर के नाम है the truth about drugs now that this is how you know drug affects the body this is uh, physical uh, you know addiction mental addiction cns kis tarike se kaam karta hai hamara liver kis tarike se kaam karta i have told you how drugs affects starting from alcohol which is the most abused drugs in the world now there are three types of drugs pehle drug is manufactured out of starch आपको पता है स्टार्स क्या होता है यू नो हाउ प्लांट थ्रू फोटोसिंथेसिस मेक स्टार्स सेम स्टार्स स्टार के अंदर से फर्मेंटेशन के माध्यम से अल्कोहल पैदा करते हैं इंसान कुछ अल्कोहल का नाम आप बता सकता है क्या चैट के ऊपर कई सारे ब्रांड है एनी बड़ी एनी बड़ी यू नो we all know old man you, you you take them there are several of them most commonly used to drug abuse to drug is alcohol 208 million people internationally consume so this is alcohol yes alcohol hai daru ka kai sare naam hai theka se lekar haan ji sir is nahi hoga to hum sach mein mar jayenge is baar sach mein mar jayenge कैसे मैं आपको आ रहा हूं आई एम गोइंग टू एक्चुअली फिनिश इट यू विल नो यू विल हैव सम डिस्कशन आफ्टर दैट द सेकंड टाइप इज कॉल्ड ऑयल बेस्ड ऑयल के अंदर से मरीज जो आना कोकेन ओपीएम वगैरह करते हैं ये पूरा नेचुरल सोर्स है मरीज जो आना या फिर ट्रांकुलेस ऑफ पेन किलर्स तो इसलिए कहता है कि ओनली टू बी प्रिस्क्राइब विद द हेल्प ऑफ ए डॉक्टर ये हेम प्लांट के अंदर से बनाता है इस तरीके से आपको नजर आएंगे इंडिया के अंदर वो बनाने के लिए परमिशन किसी को नहीं है दूसरा जो है ना कोको लीव्स के अंदर से सेम कोको के अंदर से चॉकलेट बनते हैं यू नो कोकेन एलएसडी एसटेसी एसटेसी एस पार्टी ड्रग ये कोको लीव के अंदर से ट्रीट करके आता है दूसरा इज पॉपी पॉपी सीड्स ये भी you can actually see people growing it so this is the second type of uh, drugs and the third type is based on coal tar coal tar kya hota hai same tar jo hai na wo ki hamara road ke upar tarring karne ke liye istemal karta hai ya yeah, vicky kumar ek puch raha hai ki sir medicine is also drug is it affects us medicine definitely ek drug hai parantu kya hota hai ki there are medicinal values to some drugs 
तो इवन देन जब डिप्रेस होता है डॉक्टर्स नॉर्मली एंटी डिप्रेशन लिखते हैं तो कई सारे लोग हैं डिप्रेशन वाला पिल्स जो है ना दे स्टार्ट टेकिंग ओवर द काउंटर एंड स्टार्ट ईटिंग इट एंड देन दे गो एडिक्टेड बट डॉक्टर्स जब आपको प्रिस्क्राइब करते हैं डॉक्टर को पता है कितना देना है कितना नहीं देना है सो एवरी टाइप ऑफ मेडिसिन इज ऑल्सो ए ड्रग तो द थर्ड टाइप इज कॉल कोल्टार बेस्ड कोल्टार क्या होता है कि वही तार है जो रोड बनाने के लिए काम आता है तो ये क्या करते हैं ये स्टिकी सब्जेक्ट होता है कोल्टार इज एक्चुअली यूज एस ए बॉन्डिंग एजेंट बेटा जो बच्चा डिस्टर्ब हो रहा है वो लीव कर दो मीटिंग को ना कोई जरूरी थोड़ी है कि आपने अटेंड करनी है हेलो ये जो लड़की कह रही है ना मैं डिप्रेशन में जा रही हूँ लीव द मीट आई थिंक सर के नेटवर्क की कहीं कोई इश्यू आ गया और और राधना व्हाट आई फील इज लेटर एक्सप्रेस बीच बीच में मत डिस्टर्ब करो ऐसे ना बाद में आ जाओ आप दस मिनट बाद ना हम्म सर का हट गया लिंक लेफ्ट द मीट ना हम्म सर ने लीव कर दी मीट ना उनका नेटवर्क नहीं आ रहा था प्रोबेबली कोई प्रॉब्लम है नाउ यू कैन आस्क द गर्ल पूछ लो ना हां कौन है बच्चा बेटा आप क्या पूछना चाहते हो प्लीज कम आउट विद योर फीलिंग्स इन बिटवीन यू वर इंटरप्टिंग निधि Uh, ma'am i got I... disconnected i am now again back can i continue yes 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 pin karo just give me a second ma'am chat what is this that okay okay all right so we were actually talking about there is no problem you can always disturb me children but uh, i understand there are some uh, problems on depression we will come to that uh, separately this is only information kyunki information logon ke paas nahi hai ye information hona bahut zaruri hai so now uh, the next one uh, you know hamara body ke andar uh, this is the cross section of uh, a vein hamara body ke andar artery hota hai vein hota hai artery carries fresh blood veins carries the used blood which actually takes it to the heart kya hota hai ki drugs ki hamara you know vein ke andar three layers hota hai sabse upar ka jo layer hai fat hai as you can actually see here and sabse niche ka bhi share hai uh, layer hai fat kya hota hai ki when a person start taking drugs it goes into rectanali ke andar chale jaate hain ye aur jab बॉडी इसको क्लीन करने के लिवर क्लीन करने के बाद क्या होता है कि पूरा क्लीन नहीं कर पाता है लिवर कुछ कुछ हिस्सा जो है ना वो आपका फैट टिश्यू के अंदर जाके बैठ जाता है आपको किसी को पता है कि कितना समय तक वहीं पे रहता है एंड इट रिमेन्स देयर इन सम केसेस अप टू ट्वेंटी फाइव टू थर्टी ईयर्स ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स क्या होता है कि because they are stuck in nature what happens is hamare body jab uh, you know for example aapko ek din khana nahi mila do time aapka miss kar gaya the body ka fat ke andar jo energy hota hai body releases into the blood stream and the, thereby you know the person feel good again till the time he gets food so what happens is that when you are hungry when the body want energy fat tissue ke andar se jo embedded particles hote hain wo blood ke andar dobara aa jata hai so jaise blood ke andar aa gaya the person start thinking of drugs once again this has what has happened to ravi singh you know the son of brigadier gyanchand when it was again released into the blood stream it takes so much of years 
सो दिस फॉर एग्जाम्पल एल एस डी इज सच ए ड्रैग वो इतना पावरफुल है वो इट एक्चुअली गोस इन टू दैट इश्यूज एंड रिमेन दर इट इज कॉल्ड एल एस डी फ्लैश बैक यहां पर जो लिखा है सो दिस इज इट नाउ हाउ आवर हेल्थी माइंड एंड माइंड वर्क अगर मान लीजिए आपको माइंड को कोई अफेक्ट नहीं है नॉर्मली यू आर यू नो यूर केमिकल बैलेंस इज वेरी गुड हाउ डज अ हेल्थी माइंड वर्क तीन तरीके से वर्क करते हैं पहले कोई भी सवाल हमारे माइंड के पास आ गया तो इट पेस अटेंशन उसके बाद वो क्वारी को रिकॉर्ड करता है उसके बाद उसका सोल्यूशन को रिकॉल करता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल आप रोड क्रॉस कर रहे हैं तो दोनों तरह से गाड़िया जा रहा है तो यू नो मेनी टाइम्स विच वी डू इट दूर से गाड़ी आ रहा है तो वी इमीडिएटली पेड अटेंशन देन माइंड इज रेडी इट रिकॉर्ड द क्वारी क्या मैं पार कर सकता हूं एंड यू से यू रिकॉल ये आई कैन डू इट और फिर आप दूसरा गाड़ी आपका पहुंचने से आपके पास पहुंचने के पहले पहले रोड क्रॉस कर जाता है एक आदमी जब ड्रग्स लेना शुरू करते हैं ये ही लूसेस दिस एबिलिटी वो कंफ्यूज होना शुरू करता है वॉट हैपन्स द माइंड ऑफ अ ड्रग यूजर ड्रग इंफ्लुएंस एंड कॉस मेंडल इमेजेस टू गो ब्लर कई बार रोड क्रॉस करते हैं वगैरह कि यू नो द पर्सन हु इज अंडर अल्कोहल गेट्स हिट इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ दिस वो रिकॉर्ड नहीं कर पा रहा है रिकॉर्ड नहीं कर पा रहे एग्जामिनेशन के अंदर बैठ गया कॉलेज स्टूडेंट इज अनेबल टू रिकॉल आर्टिस्ट जो है ना ही ब्यूटिफुल इमेज मैं क्या ड्रॉ करने जा रहा हूं इज अनेबल टू रिकॉल इट सो दैट एबिलिटी एक्चुअली गोस अब दिस इज द लास्ट सेशन वी विल टेक अनदर सिक्स सेवन मिनट्स मोर अगर ऐसे ऐसे चीज है आपको मैंने इतना ज्यादा जानकारी दिया एंड आई ऑल्सो सो दैट यू नो सम पीपल फीलिंग क्वाइट बैड अबाउट इट दिस गर्ल वॉज फीलिंग डिस्टर्ब डिस्टर्ब होने वाली बात है ये आपके पास पहली जानकारी आया है अब अभी आप यू विल बी वेरी वेरी केयरफुल क्योंकि लाइफ इज वेरी प्रेशियस अगर इस तरीके का है चीजें लोग क्यों ड्रग्स लेते हैं आप मुझे कुछ बता सकता है क्या कुछ कुछ रीजन क्यों लोग लेते हैं कॉलेज स्टूडेंट है ठीक है यार ले लेते हैं आज गांजा पी लेते हैं ऐसा क्यों होता है क्या वजह से हो सकता है आप मुझे चैट में लिख सकता है क्या चार पांच वजह स्ट्रेस की वजह से लिखी यू आर राइट और पियर प्रेशर की वजह से यस फ्रेंड है जैसे मैंने लिया गंजा चालीस साल पहले टेंशन हाँ हमारे पास कहता है कि कोई मेंटली डिस्टर्ब हो गया यू नो आपको पता है कि स्पोर्ट्स के अंदर लोग अब्यूज करते हैं कई सारे लोग फॉरगेट वरीज बिल्कुल तो ऐसे ऐसे चीजें हैं तो एक्चुअली यू कैन सी ऑल दिस लोग कहते हैं कि कुछ लोग क्यूरियस होता है यार एक बार करके तो देखना चाहिए यू नो या फिर पेन चले जाएंगे फॉर एग्जाम्पल जब आप कोकेन लेते वगैरह यू फील आपका डिप्रेशन चले गया लेकिन जैसे जैसे कोकेन का इफेक्ट खत्म हो जाएगा इट इंड्यूस द सेम डिप्रेशन इन ए मैनिफोल्ड मैग्नीट्यूड कोकेन का सबसे ज्यादा प्रॉब्लम है इट इज ओनली यू आर इन एन एल्यूशनरी वर्ल्ड यू आर एक्चुअली गोइंग इन टू द डीप पिच जैसे कई सारे लोगों ने यू नो कुछ बच्चे बोलते हैं कि यार अभी तो हो गया दारू वारू थोड़ा सा पीना चाहिए देन ओनली पीपल विल कंसिडर मी एट यू नो कुछ रेबल्स होते हैं कुछ लोग यू नो नशा करके देखते हैं कुछ लोग एंजॉय करने के लिए परफॉर्मेंस इन स्पोर्ट अगर आप देखोगे ये सारे चीज को एक कंफ्यूशन हम बता सकता है ड्रग का जितने भी जो सेलर्स है देविल से मेरकल क्यूअर है ये एंगजाइटी दूर करते हैं एंड ऑल बट जो कंफ्यूशन की वजह से जो प्रॉब्लम आपके सामने था उसके वजह से लोग ड्रग लेना शुरू करते हैं इट कैन बी इग्नोरेंस इट कैन बी पियर प्रेशर बोर्डम के अंदर मेरा एक दोस्त था यू नो ई क्वालिफाइड प्रिलिमिनरी इन आई ए एस he started taking drugs about a month ago before uh, writing the examination but after taking you know uh, writing the examination the person could not sleep he had to be hospitalized 
the ability of the body to sleep was taken away by drugs. Bal bal bas gaya tha. So they alter everything. Now, aap mujhe badao. Humne aapko bada diya hai ki drug ka hai kya chiz hota hai, nasha kya hota hai. Zindagi ka asli nasha kidhar se aata hai. पीयूष ने लिखा है सर आप बोलते रहोगे तो हम भी आपके जैसे गंजे हो जाएंगे आई लाइक दैट ओके आप मुझे बता देंगे क्या हाउ कैन वी एक्सपीरियंस रियल हाई इन लाइफ असली नशा किधर से आता है नेवर गिविंग अप विथ पॉजिटिव माइंड सेट असली नशा जब आपके पास तभी आता है व्हेन यू हैव गॉट सम स्मॉल गोल्स Yes. You know, if you have a goal, for example, let me tell you, कि कितने लोगों को साइकिलिंग आता है? I can see there are eighty-two people. कई सारे लोग हैं. आप वाई वाई कह सकता है. Grow chat के ऊपर. कितने लोग हैं? I can see several people know cycling. क्या आपने पहली बार एक तार दिव्या पहली बार जब साइकिल में बैठा था उसी दिन आप साइकिल सीख गया था क्या? एन लिखो अगर उसी दिन अगर उसी दिन कर पाए तो यस करो नो आई कैन सी दैट प्रीति से नो असर आई वी कुड नॉट डेफिनेटली कितने लोगों का स्विमिंग आते हैं क्या पहली बार जब आप पानी के अंदर घुसा उसी दिन आपने स्विमिंग सीखा था क्या आई एम नॉट गोइंग फॉर बिग गोल्स मैं आप गोल का क्या है मैं समझाना चाह रहा हूं आपको मुझे याद था वेन आई आई फेल सेवरल टाइम्स एस ए यंग बॉय में जब साइकिलिंग साइकिल सीखना चाह रहा था बट अचानक एक दिन चार पांच दिन के बाद मुझे साइकिलिंग आ गया एक नशा सा जिंदगी का एक कमाल का फीलिंग था है कि नहीं पहली बार व्हेन आई स्टार्टेड स्विमिंग मुझे ऐसा लगा कि आई है समथिंग असली नशा तो वो चीज है जब आप जिंदगी का कोई गोल अचीव करें बट लेकिन गोल अचीव करने के लिए पहली बार आपके पास एक गोल होना जरूरी है यू नो यू आइडेंटिफाई द गोल मेक अ प्लान गोल सेटिंग के ऊपर इन केस इफ यू वांट आई कैन कंडक्ट अ फ्री सेशन इन केस यू आर कॉलेज वांट्स आई कैन ऑलवेज डू इट आई कैन टेक सेशंस ऑन इंटरव्यू स्किल्स कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स विच आई कीप डूइंग इट फॉर कॉर्पोरेट्स हु पेस मी बट फॉर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम विलिंग टू टेक एनी डे what is the goal how can we achieve it we can always do so here yahan pe main aapko ek chhota sa video uh, uh, dikhana chahunga uh, hopefully it will run internet is creating problem ye pip ka jo ye kutte ka naam hai pip pip ja raha hai pip ke paas ek chhota sa goal hai let us run this video can i yes okay मेरा पीपीटी आपको दिखाई दे रहा है मैम पीपीटी भी नहीं दिखाई दे रहा है ब्रेक हो गया ना बीच में जय हो हाँ इट्स जस्ट जस्ट कमिंग मैम आ रहा है हाँ हेलो इज द वॉइस कमिंग मैम 
Are you able to see the video? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Right. Nothing, say nothing. You just keep quiet while power. So I hope you are able to see the video. Na 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 na. You are able to see the video? Okay. Nahin. Yes, sir. You are able to, ma'am? Are you able to? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. We are coming to yes. the last uh, leg. I'm sorry because of the technical glitches which has actually happened in between. Now I want to say that life returns what you have given to it. What do we give to our life? वही हमें जिंदगी वापस कर दे तुम जैसे सरों से हेलो कैन यू शट डाउन योर माइक प्लीज वो और इस टॉकिंग प्लीज म्यूटे लाइफ जो है ना जिंदगी को हम क्या देते हैं वो इस वापस करते देर वास दिस बिल्डर ए बिग बिल्डर वो हैड बिल्ड सेवरल कॉलोनीज एंड ही मेड लॉट्स ऑफ मनी फॉर द लास्ट थर्टी इयर्स ही हैज बीन एक्चुअल lot of name lot of money he he made out of life and he thought god yeah, he i must take a break 
and he called his uh, assistant jo supervisor hai and he called supervisor and told raju you have been with me for the last 30 years main abhi mera business jo hai na wind up karne ja raha hu but before doing that i have one wish and that wish is that i want to make one last house and it is extremely important to me that jo makan mein banaunga that should be the best house in the whole state aap mere liye bana ke doge and he told raju raju i want you to manage it personally go to accounts department jitna bhi paise chahiye ab le lo i am not going to ask any account of the money which you have actually taken but itna zarur hai there should be the best house main abhi ja raha hu i am going for a pilgrimage and i will be back only after one year can you make it for me so raju said yes sir i will make this house and ye kehte hue builder chale gaya pilgrimage ke liye time went by raju felt this is a beautiful idea golden opportunity he thought boss ne mere se kabhi bhi puchhenge nahi kitna paisa kharch kiya hai so he went to the accounts department bahut sare paisa withdraw karwa diya aur gathiya se gathiya material leke usne ne makan bana diya you know but from outside he made the house look like as if it is a fine house ek saal beet gaya builder wapas aa gaya builder wise wapas aa gaya so he saw a beautiful house in the plot which he had actually given to raju a supervisor so he called raju raju is this the house you have made he said raju said yes sir this is the house he said the best house in the whole state raju said yes sir this is the best house are you sure he said yes maine khud haathon se you know i have been there personally supervising bhai sab bahut kharcha ho gaya but doesn't matter sir it's a best house so um, the builder said okay what are the papers makan ka jo paper kidhar hai to raju ne bola ki sir ye maine andar rakha hai he said okay go and bring that ha- um, you know the papers so raju went inside took the paper of the house and brought it to his boss the boss actually took the paper and said raju ye mere taraf se aakhri gift hai tumhare liye so you know when somebody takes drugs you know what you are going to get back from your life so be careful what you do it and therefore let us take a blood today and this is the blood which we normally do this is an online thing otherwise we all stand up stretch our hand and take a blood and the blood is i promise to live a drug free life i promise to help my family friends community be drug free i promise to learn more about drugs harm people how drug harms people i promise to tell others about harmful effects of drugs i promise to show my friends that drugs being uh, that being drug free is fun and i promise to set a good example to others and lead the way to drug free world this pledge is taken by millions of students in india as well as abroad and when you go back remember what all things i told you and what when i wind up this program let me give you a small gift which i have written specifically for you it's a poem and it is entitled future is yours so it goes something like this spring came conquered the world and went away spring came conquered the world and went away the lone flower on my garden fronts broke away the summer that came with a vengeance melted away autumn who is a guest want to move away and i know that winter which is waiting in wings wants to go away but my friends god has promised that they come back again and we know that he has kept his promises again and again the sun has risen again and again the flowers have bloomed again and again the rainbows have come back again and again and my friends we know that he has kept his promises again and again 
God has promised laughter after tears. God has promised laughter after tears, happiness after sorrows, gain after pain, relaxation after strain, and peace after disturbances. But my friends, he has not promised any of these in isolation. And we know that he has kept his promises again and again. When the thunder roars, remember the sky is going to clear. When the deluge pours down from the sky, remember sunshine is going to reappear. When your aching muscles force you to stop, remember you are already nearer to your destination. When difficulties break you down, remember success is just a step away. Start your journey with conviction and determination. And don't worry about typhoons and thunder. Instead, think of the destination just lying ahead. And remember, the future belongs to you. It belongs to you. It belongs to you, my dear friends. So with that, I wind up my session. I once again say sorry to you because of the technical glitches. I have tried my level best and I hope and wish that you have been able to get some information out of it. And this could be uh, helpful to you. If any of you of your college wants to actually, you know, conduct these kind of programs, or if you want to have a small club of students, run by students, driven by students, pursued and articulated by students, young bloods, and want to learn this lecture free of cost, we will help you so that you can deliver it in your college, in person, so that you are actually propagating for a good cause. Life become beautiful when there is a purpose. It is not only about studying and achieving things, it's also giving back to the society. So with that, thank you so much. Bear with me for the, you know, the slip up which has happened. Thanks to the technical glitches. And in the last, you know, I would, uh, uh, you know, a heartfelt thank, I'm really thankful for the opportunity you are given to Drug Free World India. And we look forward to do the same in the times to come. When the pandemic come, goes away, just let me know I can come down and we can do this session subsequently in person in your college. So thank you so much. Aradhana ma'am. Thank you, sir. So from my Question. side, if, uh, if there is any question, do Questions. ask me. Any question? Anybody can ask. Aradhana ma'am, if you want uh, the booklet, please let me know. I will mail it across to you. Okay, Send it across okay, to you. Sir. okay, sir. Sir, may I ask you a question? Yes, yes please. please. Yes, yes. yes. Sir, I am a counselor in the schools. In schools, even some children, they take drugs and when we come to know, we want to tell them how to get rid of it. That portion you have not discussed, please. Can you? Uh, actually, uh, sir, uh, what's the good name, sir? I could not uh, get that. Neelam huh. uh, Yes, ma'am. Actually, what we can do is we can actually give information, you know, uh, we do this uh, session in school, uh, from primary school onwards, and we come down to the level of the children, and there are lots of volunteers, and then share this information to them through stories, etc. And we have to create awareness. It is only through education we can actually control this menace. And be empathetic to the people who have actually addicted, you have become addicts. Because they want So that is the area of drug rehabilitation. This is about you know prevention. This is what we do. We can come down and then help you in that matter. Any any other question? Good afternoon, sir. I would like to ask a question. Hmm? Sir, uh, like we know, the drugs are very freely available everywhere. So. It, we can't really blame the people for, I mean, we do blame the people, but it's not exactly their fault. Like, it's not completely their fault. Uh, that is that is actually true. Uh, but what we can do is that they say, many, you know, in the last about 15 year, years my, of my association, 
किसी ने वन स्टूडेंट सर जिस तरीके से बात करोगे हम भी गंजे हो जाएंगे एंड आई हैव एक्चुअली बिकम दैट यू नो डूइंग दैट सो वी वर्क इन क्लोज कोऑर्डिनेशन विद द पुलिस दिल्ली पुलिस दिल्ली पुलिस कमिश्नर यू नो नार्कोटिक कंट्रोल बोर्ड एन जी ओ राहत कैन पर लुक एट डूइंग दिस दिस विल बी अमन सर्विस यू नो creating awareness jahan pe police ki zarurat hai to control the menace catching the culprits now they always glorify ye ye pill le lo miao le lo ya fir lsd le lo acha hai so this is only a collective effort akele mein karna mushkil hai akele mein jo hum kar sakta hai wo hai awareness creation but sir as far as we know even the Uh, police even the government even they are kind of involved in it and they don't want to take a step against it so what can we as a separate human do to stop this kind of things okay the first thing is that we have to protect ourselves you know gandhi ji also said that you know if you be the change we want to see in others we cannot many times change the world but we can make a beginning आज का तारीख में आपने देखा 164 कंट्रीज के अंदर कैसे गया प्लेसेस लाइक यू नो मेक्सिको एंड ऑल काफी हद तक कंट्रोल में है ये धर्म और अधर्म का यू नो गुड एंड बैड का फाइट है वी हैव टू प्ले आवर रोल सारे पुलिस गलत नहीं है हमारे साथ जो कुछ पुलिस लोग जो सीनियर मोस्ट लोग मैं आपको लेट मी टेल यू यू नो मिस्टर अग्रवाल ऑफ ऑल इंडिया इंस्टीट्यूट ए एम एस is one of the senior most surgeon uh, in india people like that have actually joined because and also that dheere dheere cheez and change ho sakta hai this is how we can do any other question should we stop it ma'am yes, ma yes sir yes sir so um, प्रिंसिपल और राहत और सभी विद्यार्थियों और चंडीगढ़ के विभिन्न कॉलेजेस से जहाँ से बच्चे आए हैं उन सब की ओर से मैं सर का और इनकी फाउंडेशन का विशेष धन्यवाद करना चाहूंगी आ, सबसे बड़ी चीज क्या होती है कि इस समस्या को जानना हमारे साथ ये होता है कि हम समस्या के बारे में जानते ही नहीं है तो हम जब तक उस समस्या को नहीं जानेंगे तो उससे बाहर कैसे निकलेंगे तो अवेयरनेस जो होता है किसी भी चीज को जड़ से मिटाने के लिए सबसे पहले अवेयरनेस होना जरूरी है इसीलिए आज का सेशन अवेयरनेस के बारे में था तो जब आप अवेयर हो जाएंगे किसी चीज के बारे में तो स्वयं ही उससे दूर रहने की आप कोशिश करेंगे तो हमने अपनी जिम्मेवारी समझनी है अगर पुलिस मिली भगत कर रही है या ड्रग्स अवेलेबल करा रही है तो हमने उसको देखना है कि हमने उसे लेना है कि नहीं लेना तो ये तभी पॉसिबल है जब आप उसके नुकसान के बारे में अवेयर होंगे और जैसा कि सर ने आपको बताया कि जीवन में एक गोल रखना बहुत जरूरी है जैसे मैं अपना ही अगर एग्जाम्पल दू मेरा एक गोल था जीवन में कि मुझे कंप्यूटर टेक्स से भी बनना मैं कोशिश करती थी पर मुझे कंप्यूटर चलाना नहीं आता था और छह महीने के अंदर अंदर मैं कह सकती हूँ कि आई एम टेक्स सेवी ना तो मैं मुझे इसी बात की खुशी है दूसरा मैं जानवरों से बहुत डरती थी तो मेरे घर में मेरा बेटा एक डॉग ले आया और आज की डेट में वो डॉग पूरे कंट्रोल में है मेरे तो अब मुझे लगता है कि अरे मैंने तो कितना कुछ अचीव कर लिया तो जीवन में ऐसे छोटे छोटे गोल रखिए और जब उनको आप प्राप्त करते हैं तो उससे जो आपको खुशी मिलती है वो खुशी इन नशों से बहुत ऊपर की खुशी होती है तो मैं आप सबके सुखद और मंगल भविष्य की कामना के साथ सर का भी धन्यवाद करती हूँ प्रभजोत मैडम का प्रिंसिपल मैडम का जिन्होंने हमें अलाउ किया और साथ ही मीडिया टीम का रमन मैडम का धमीजा मैम का और भी अध्यापक गण जो हमारे साथ जुड़े हैं और बाकी कॉलेजेस के विद्यार्थियों का और उनके अध्यापकों का जिन्होंने आप सबको यहाँ पर भेजा और मुझे लगता है कि इससे आपको कुछ फायदा होगा और अपने आसपास जो है अगर आप लोगों में इस तरह की अवेयरनेस को स्प्रेड कर दें तो हमारा ये प्रयास सफल हो जाएगा अगर आज सौ लोगों ने देखा ना अगर आप दो लोगों के जीवन में भी अगर परिवर्तन ले आए या एक लोग व्यक्ति के जीवन में भी परिवर्तन ले आएंगे 
ले आए तो हमारा ये एफर्ट जो है सक्सेसफुल होता है इसी के साथ आप सबका बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद नमस्कार